that you did, I, and, and I thought it was whack. First of all, and I'm gonna tell you why I thought it was whack, and you can ask me whatever you want. All right, let's go. Um, and the reason I, I thought it was whack is because you know me. You've been to my 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 seminar, so, man. Know. Like so many people respect your platform. You are a celebrity. You got millions of people that listen to you on a daily basis. You got you got a partner of yours who who is is accused of some very serious allegations. Millions of dollars have been alleged to be scammed at this point, right? I want to ask you first and so there was nothing that you can buy. Now, has anybody ever gave me a dollar, a dime, a nickel, a quarter, a hundred dollars, a thousand dollars, a hundred thousand dollars, a five hundred thousand, a million? Not one person. Because I'm making my business not to take money from nobody. And there's nobody on this live. And there's nobody <clears throat> in here that could ever say envy. They gave envy a dollar. I didn't help everybody get homes. I didn't help over a thousand people get into homes. Because the guy last night, he said that he gave Caesar a million dollars. When he said he came to the office, you were right there to greet him. He said he felt like you were part of the entire process as far as bringing him into the, you know, him even deciding to make this investment in the office, and he's in the exact same office as I'm walking in before we even come to an agreement on the deal. So how do you feel like you play a part in that when an investor feels like, hey, my, my investment decision is based off the fact that I'm sit watching you sit in the same office with this guy? A conversation with somebody and you decide to do whatever you want to do, that has nothing to do with envy. If, if you said, if, if envy said, do this because I said it's cool, that's a different story. If you see envy's name on a contract, that's a different story. But now it seems like, Seems like you're fishing for things that put me involved. Just because I'm in the office with somebody else doesn't mean that me and that person is doing anything with each other. Well, well we don't are, we, anybody. Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in, and I ain't gonna lie, man. These last couple summer months for DJ Envy been a real live roller coaster ride and him being caught up in a blender that he can't seem to get himself out of and cut off. And it kicked off with him and Rick Ross having the back and forth, and it started out as a joke between them two, but it got serious and crossed the line with the disrespect about the car shows and everything like that. Well, around the time of that kicking off, we saw this Instagram Live that y'all just watched with him and Tony the Closer. Well, people were accusing DJ Envy of running a fraud-type scheme with seminars and real estate investing and basically just a plan to finesse people out their paper and everything like that. Saying that he co-signed and endorsed Caesar, his partner in this situation, and he's saying, hey, I ain't got nothing to do with that. I didn't take no money from nobody personally. If you gave some money to Caesar, that's between y'all. To be fair, Caesar came out and said nope. Well, now it officially hit the news that he has been hit with a lawsuit with Caesar and everything like that. Went viral all over the internet this past weekend. And if you've been on the internet heavy, you've seen it already getting cooked up and being presented. But Rick Ross jumped in there and said this. While reposting all the news to his story on Instagram, his wife still does feet at DJ Envy. I need a pedicure. Then he said at DJ Envy, career center foreclosure. Then he said at DJ Envy, it's time to tattoo that hairline. Now I'm not involved in Rick Ross and DJ Envy personal problems. I don't be knowing what's entertainment and what's for real no more. Is it really serious? Are y'all doing this to go viral the trend with talking stuff about each other? I'm not the nigga that believes in making fun of people going through stuff like this. We had our little issues already. It got real nasty and messy between him and Gunplay. But I'll fall back when you see, see you going through stuff like this. I'm going to just keep my quiet because the game always go how the game go. The tables always turn. Now, Envy, I was waiting for him to say something on Breakfast Club this morning. A lot of people was looking to see the same. If you look at the comments, like, hold on, bro. Y'all do do the rumor report. Y'all talk about all trending topics. Y'all speak on all the business going on in the world, but now they want to hear what you got to say about your own stuff because it's been months now. DJ Envy hasn't said anything. Now, to be fair, that's legally the correct and smart thing to do. Shut up. You can't have, have nothing held against you that you ain't never said, but people ain't going to see it like that. He did go to Instagram and say, give the people the show when they got a problem with you and everything like that. But I'm going to tell you like this, this lawsuit stuff is starting to heat up and gain traction. And this is coming from Hip Hop DX. According to The Real Deal, Envy and two real estate investors, Caesar and Jennifer Pina, 
are facing lawsuits totaling $1.5 million from Anthony Barone and Anthony Martini, who are alleging that the trio defrauded them out of money for an apartment complex project that never materialized. Barone and Martini are seeking compensatory, consequential, and punitive damages. What's more, Barone and Martini are alleging that DJ Envy purchased a series of properties in Patterson, New Jersey, undervalued them, then fixed and flipped them or rented them out. And I'm going to tell you like this, bro. They say they have not been paid back. It's multiple people accusing DJ Envy of these things. And this is serious allegations. I will say this, though. Innocent until proven guilty. I have not saw the facts. That audio came out of DJ Envy, even though he's saying he disassociated himself with everything. Well, he was claiming, I put these guys on. I put this guy on. I gave him a name. Basically acknowledging that you use your platform and following to step and endorse these people who are now being accused of finessing people out their hard-earned money. Tell you like this, though. For everybody involved, bro, all that get-rich-quick stuff and anybody else, it's not real. It takes money to make money, and it's a process. Ain't no we gonna have a three-month turnaround. Don't ever fall for somebody fame and popularity to think, hey, I need to invest with them because they talking to good game. It's on you to do your full research and get a full understanding. And I would do my best in life. You got to take risks to not put up no money or invest no money that you really, really can't afford to lose. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot. A quarter, $100, $1,000, $100,000, or $500,000, a million. Not one person. Because I'm making my business not to take money from nobody and there's nobody on this live and there's nobody <clears throat> in here that could ever say envy they gave envy a dollar i didn't help everybody get homes i didn't help over a thousand people get into homes he said do this because i said it's cool that's a different story if you see envy's name on a contract that's a different story but now it seems like seems like you're fishing for things to put me involved just because